Hey guys, what's up? Swapnil here, back again with a cool video on Sunday's cool video. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fold this collapsible bowl. It can also collapse in both directions, and it can also be a tray for flowers. So, see, it can also bear the weight. It's not, I mean, it's, it's in kind of easy box. Uh, not a box, I mean, it's a bowl which holds flowers and a basket also. You can also keep anything in it. But if you made it from a metal sheet, uh, also that's okay because it's a um, simple one. Alright, so want to learn how to fold this cool box? Let's begin. So for this flower basket, I called it a fl flower basket, I'm using this sheet of gray. So it looks white in both directions, but see, when you just fold this is a little grayish and this is white. So start out with the white side up, fold in the thirds. Yeah, you don't know in the thirds, then follow me. What we're gonna do is we're taking this flap up and fold it up, but don't crease it. We're just folding it up so that this length is equal to this length. So just adjust the flap like this and get it uh, guess as much as you can that, that this length is equal to that this length. Alright, so I'm taking it a little bit down. And now, uh, the highest guess of yours is mine is here. So we're creasing it. But not too hard. We're just creasing it softly. Because we have to check that it's properly um, thirds or not. So what we're going to do now is fold this lap up so that this edge touches this edge. So it should touch and if it's not touching, then you have to see it's not touching. So we have to take this flap a little bit back like that. Okay, so we're making space for the white patch. Alright, and now again crease it softly and rotate and uh, do the same thing try to fold this edge so that it aligns up to this edge all right and we're not making the whole crease we're just making a pinch mark and unfolding and see if it's perfect all right so uh, the pinch mark is a little bit ahead so fold this flap a little bit ahead and now crease it sharp you can crease because the measure is perfect when the measure is perfect you have to fold and now take this edge and fold it to this edge so in this way we're making thirds thirds means what when you open it one two three that's thirds it should form three units of the paper it should divide into three so see if it's perfect like that it should make a strip okay um a strip so now we're unfolding both and doing the same thing on this side. So now we can just measure because it will form a square right here. So again, measure as much as you can and make a soft crease. I'm using this without scale. I don't have a scale anywhere, as you can see. And now try to fold this edge to this edge. And now just make a pinch mark and see if it's perfect. So it's a little bit ahead, so let's fold this lap ahead to that pinch mark and crease it softly. And now fold this edge again to this edge and see if it's per perfect. And make a pinch mark. Yeah, it's perfect for me. Yeah, this is a tricky step, a difficult one. So I hope you have done with that. All right. Now we're gonna unfold like this. Now we're gonna turn over and we're now just reversing uh, one of the thirds. These two creases we're gonna reverse, not these. All right, the standing creases we're gonna uh, leave them like that, and these creases, the sleeping creases, we're gonna reverse them. So, reverse means what? We're just now taking this edge and folding it back to that crease but turning it over like this and rotate and repeat so unfold now see there are two mountains 
and two wellies. So it, so we want like that. And now we're just folding like this so that they just line up like this. And now what we're going to do is I'll just zoom in. All right, what we're going to do is now see these two mountains right here? What we're going to do is we're just bringing them together. We're starting from these points. We're now going to extend it all the way. So we're bringing these two flaps together, first folding this flap up on that point, like that, and fold this flap and bring it up uh, above it. So that will make the bow a curved one. And fold this flap over it on that point. So it should not go further till that valley crease. So it's like this, we're folding it over so that this should make a point right here. So see, if you fold it on the point, if you fold it, it not makes a point right here. So uh, no matters if we just fold this point a little bit over. So fold it over so that it makes a corner right here, like that. And now we're going to flop in both. All right. like that and now again a difficult step in this step um, it's a cause of tear tearing the model so what we're gonna do is be careful first for this step so what we're gonna do is we're making a pinch mark first a mountain on this um, right here where that crease ends we're making a mountain right here and same thing here so we're making a mountain where that crease ends right there all right we're just making a pinch mark and now we're going to extend the two flaps the two mountains i mean so that they join together like this see the two mountains these two mountains have joined together and now we're going to make a sharp crease there. So we're putting this flap um, mountain folding it behind. Like this. And again we're creasing it sharply. So the one side of the bow is done. Now we're just creasing it sharply and rotating it uh, like this. And see it's a dustpan. As you can see it's a kind of dustpan. So, sweep stuff. Alright, so now we're going to repeat the whole thing as we did here. We're going to do it here. So we're making this side a curved one. So zoom in. So see you have these two mountains just folded up on this valley crease. Now we're holding these flaps. Or if not, we're just making, um, remaking the mountains. Just make them sharp. like that okay so now what we're gonna do is we're bringing these two mountains together on these two points so we're taking first this mountain you can uh, decide the size which one you're taking the first side so we're folding this side first up to there and now we're gonna fold this side up so that it makes a corner right here so first fold like this and make a corner and now fold it up like that and I think this flap should go more ahead a little bit ahead like that because it's not the same all right and I do it here all right so now see it makes a corner right here and now we're gonna Try to crease sharp on the two creases which we just did right now. So we're just trying to crease it sharp. So all we can do is just press right here. We cannot fold it. All right. So now we're making a mountain pinch mark right where this crease ends and right where this crease ends. So the opposite 
a mountain like this. And now we're going to extend those mountains. Okay, we're going to extend those mountains until they line up like that but the model should not tear it you have to just be careful like that so see there are they are together now they should just line up both of them by extending like this now see the bowel is taking shape okay as you can see now yeah it's like a car if you can see I'll zoom out now see it's a car without wheels Woo. <laughs> really a cow car without wheels all right now this is the second last step of our bow and we're done <laughs> not now after the second last step so we're re-zooming it in and we're folding this flap at the back again we're mountain folding it and it's upon you if you want to make a small bow you may have to get in more in or if you want a big bow you may have to mountain fold it less so I'm folding about this much and it's upon you how much you want to fold so now make a mountain on that like this and repeat right here so this is the last step after that we're gonna taste the model taste is not gonna eat it as I said so I'm folding about this much and now we're making a crease right there the map we're just making the crease where it is like this all right so I'm using one end. No, <laughs> for see. All right. Now what we're gonna do is see these are the two folded sides. This one and this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pull them like this, and it's a monster mouth. <laughs> All right. Just pull them so that these sides go in. And we're just pulling the folded sides, not these. So, and it can also be a monster mouth, as I said. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna just shape it by just getting all the sides, just folding them out outwards. All right, now you can, if you want, you can just fold these little corners and to give it give the bow a more shape so I'm putting these corners in right here like that now last two this we're just tasting our model is done all right so there it is our bowel our two bowels and a bulged car without wheels where you? Oh shit. Alright, so hope you like my model and hope you have subscribed my channel and see you next time. Bye guys. See you later.